Welcome back to our video series on seller performance policies, designed to help you understand how we evaluate you and prepare you for success selling on eBay. In this video, we'll introduce you to seller standards. As covered in part one of the series, we evaluate your performance on the 20th day of each month and then assign you a seller level within the following three categories. Top rated means you're exceeding our performance expectations. Above standard means you're meeting our performance expectations. Below standard means that your performance has fallen below our minimum standards, leading to potential limitations on your selling activity until this improves. To view your current seller level, simply navigate to your seller level dashboard by going to the Seller Hub Performance tab and choosing Seller Level. On this page, you'll be able to view your past, current and projected seller level. Let's dive into the performance metrics we measure when we evaluate your seller level. There are three key metrics we focus on. Transaction defect rate, late shipment rate, cases closed without seller resolution. First, let's look at cases closed without seller resolution. When a buyer reports that an item hasn't arrived or requests a return, you are responsible for resolving it within three business days. A case closed without seller resolution occurs when you don't resolve the buyer's issue within the three-day period. In most cases, we require you to offer a return for refund, a partial refund or full refund. If three days pass without any resolution, eBay will step in to resolve on your behalf. To avoid falling below standard, you need to have 0.3% or fewer of your transactions resulting in cases closed without seller resolution. Now, let's look at the transaction defect rate. A transaction defect is counted when either you unexpectedly cancel an order or the item was out of stock. A buyer reports an issue and you are unable to resolve it within the three-day period, a case closed without seller resolution. You want to aim for a defect rate of 2% or less to avoid falling below standard and 0.5% or less to achieve a top rated level. Finally, let's look at the late shipment rate. We help set buyers expectations by showing them an estimated delivery date for their order. To help ensure items arrive on time, you need to send items within your stated handling time using the delivery service chosen by the buyer. Late shipments are determined based on whether you've uploaded valid tracking information from an integrated carrier. For items with valid tracking, an item is considered late if the delivery scan occurs after the estimated delivery date and there is no carrier scan within your handling time. If there is no tracking information available, we determine whether the item arrived on time based on buyer feedback. If the buyer confirms that the item arrived after the estimated delivery date, it will be counted as a late delivery. Here is a summary of the different requirements for each seller level. If you want to maintain top rated level status, you need to maintain a transaction defect rate less than or equal to 0.5% associated with no more than three different buyers, cases closed without seller resolution no more than two or 0.3% of transactions, a late shipment rate no more than five or 5% 5 of transactions. For more details on these metrics and how they impact your seller standards, be sure to visit our seller standards help page. It has more useful information on accessing your seller dashboard and the consequences of falling below standard. In the next video, we'll guide you on how to avoid cancellations and resolve buyer issues promptly to prevent cases closed without seller resolutions. Stay tuned for part three.